Hi, today what I'm gonna try to do is to put oil color on my 99 NB Miata. Mm, this is the the parts oil color from the uh, Turbo Works. The NN NA10 lines pre-made, also from Turbo Works. Sandwich plate without thermostat. <coughs> That's the pressure sensor for oil and temp sensor. I bought it a couple weeks ago and I tried to put this one in the stock oil pressure sensor location but, the, but I, did, I, I wasn't sure if the threads are correctly. And besides the oil cooler things, I also want to put uh, some brake cooling I bought two types of the two pieces of this of this tube because when I raised it before uh, I have big trouble with my brake pads. I went through through like three sets already and now I'm and I think that the problem was that I brake really hard and the brakes are cooking. For the sensors, I already make made my cluster over here. The water temp is working already, but I still didn't uh, plug the oil sensors. And that's what I'm gonna try to do today. And I'm not very sure if I can put this uh, in the stack location because I read that I will have problem with this fittings because there is no enough space before besides the engine block and I, maybe i will have to um, figure something out i don't know and i start with uh, taking the wheels off to make some space to, with, to work one to work with this is the engine 1.8 nothing special still works hopefully I have four or five track days already and the next track day track day gonna be in two days so I really want to put the oil cooler and the brake ducting so car is in the air already these are here and the first thing what I think about is the brake cooling brake cooling ducts I think I'm gonna try to cut a small hole in this shield to bring the cold air over there and I will drag the tubes over here I will cut this thing intake over here it is already loose so I think I should be able to put the tube right over here and the same thing over here. Next, next thing I'm gonna try to unscrew the oil filter or maybe first thing what I'm gonna do is to remove this brace. So I rem removed this piece. The two bolts wasn't that sure to unscrew. But the funny thing is that the bottom, there was no bottom screw. So I think this piece is really useless. But one thing what I'm very happy about is to see this metal thing on the right side of the filter that's the heat exchanger so I think I will not have any trouble to screw the mm, the lines and mount the mm, oil cooler in the YouTube videos which I watched before I wanted to start this project they didn't have this uh, cooler I think this is the power steering cooler Maybe that, that's the case because that was not the NB Miata or different year, I don't know. I wanted to use this mounting place and this mounting I won't be able to because I won't, don't want to uh, the cooler be like the, <laughs> the lowest place of the car. So I think I'm gonna put it over here or, or on this side or over this side of the radiator. Normally I see that the people 
put it on this side because this is the cooler air but I daily in this car and I don't want to uh, destroy the cooler because of some rock or something I don't know all right so I decide to change the concept I wanted I won't put it here because of the cooling lines here so I decide to put it normally over here in front of the radiator because the lines which I got they are quite long I'm gonna go here in front I'm gonna put like 70 centimeter long metal bracket and I'm gonna bolt it to that and then a little over there the line gonna go just to the oil cooler you have shot of my dog Kaya say hi to my dog she's chilling right now and I am fighting fighting this with this beast finally I took the oil filter out and now I'm gonna try to put the sandwich plate uh, this should be this one I'm gonna check the threads seems that that's all right so no pack up there yes uh, itch, itch. she wanted to say hello so I'm gonna now I'm gonna put this first and then I'm gonna screw the other screw wait a second all right it's in the place I did it really loosely so I can adjust it later and now I'm gonna try to put the hoses all right hoses are roughly in the place and now I can adjust the like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be able to see where the cooler go I think I'm gonna leave it like that maybe a little bit higher here I got some brackets pre-made the only thing I'm afraid that the Oil cooler is on the front, and if something hit it with a rock or something like that, maybe leaks. But hopefully that don't won't happen. So now I'm gonna try to mark up the braces, the brackets. So this is the next day, and the work is finished because I didn't have time yesterday to um, work on the car and film it because I was in a big rush. Yesterday I finished the cooling system, but today when I was on the drive, uh, I had a small leak from the sensor, the oil pressure sensor over there. Uh, I put it out and screw it once again with uh, with the ex with special tape to prevent the leaks. And I'm gonna go for a small ride to check it if it's if it's working or not. I make those brackets, one here is the cooler and second one here pretty simple but very time consuming and the other part I made those vents air brake cooling vents it's 70 millimeter wide both of them and currently it's very hectic I didn't have time to put it properly here's how it's look how it looks like inside the problem is that i have to put it so far back because the tire when it's on the full lock uh, was rubbing and i have to test it again but on the track i think i'm gonna put it more uh, more closer to the brake, brake disc because on the track you're not almost never go full lock so i think i'm gonna have good clearance over here uh, tomorrow is the track day i have to still i have still to uh, wire the gauges i have uh, the wires right here 
right now but i'm gonna make change it tomorrow on the truck and i have to wire the all of those hopefully everything will work i'm not sure still so we're gonna see so that's it for today i think and tomorrow i'm gonna be back on the track maybe i hope so because if it still leaks i don't won't have enough time to fix it once again so fingers crossed it, it's gonna work Może kamienie wybiera. <laughs> <laughs>